Hi, my name is Jeff Diego. This is Confessions of a Punk. And one thing I want to talk to you today about is the importance of learning old English and knowing how to read it and understand it. Uh, I used to make the joke that uh, I don't live in Shakespearean time and I thou doth know how it to talk that way. Um, and I was kind of celebrating ignorance by saying that. Um, Usually when I would talk that way and kind of belittle Old English, it was when I would tell people to uh, not read the King James Version of the Bible if they cannot understand uh, Old English. And I, I still stand by that because if you can't understand the Bible you're reading, then you need a different Bible. Uh, for instance, my translation of choice is the English Standard Version. It's on an 8th grade reading level. Do you think... I give copies of the English Standard Version, or the ESV, to 5th graders. No, I don't. I give them a child's translation, like the Message, or the NLT, or the NCV, or one of those many other translations. Uh, but I do not give them an ESV. Why? That's on an 8th grader reading level. I wouldn't give a 6th grader that. I wouldn't give a 5th grader that, because they can't understand it. Um, well, I... Do not recommend the King James Version to people who cannot understand the King James Version. Um, I do have to say that learning Old English is important because that is the type of English the Puritans wrote in. That's the type of English that, um, you know, people like John Bunyan and John Owen and John Edwards and uh, most of the translations for Martin Luther's work and most of the translations for Augustine's work and John Calvin's work, um, they're, most of them are in Old English. Um, and so if you don't know what thou and thine and thy uh, means, you're kind of going to be lost. So uh, I was kind of convicted of my ignorance uh, in the area of understanding Old English when I bought a devotional book called The Valley of Vision. It's recommended by this guy, Joe Thorne, who wrote the book Note to Self, which is an awesome devotional for you to check out. It's about preaching the gospel to yourself. That was my favorite devotional for years. So uh, I was on his website, and he recommended uh, the book Valley of Vision, and it's a Puritan prayer and devotional book. It is amazing. The issue is, well, public school, Jeff Diego, thou doth not speaketh. Uh, old English, and everything in there is in Old English. There's not a single you or your or me or mine in there. It's thou, thine, thy. Um, they don't even say the word between in between. It's like betwixt, B-E-T-R-I-X-T. -E like, how is that between? Um, so I'm having to spend a lot of time reading uh, dictionaries, looking up what thou means, what thy means, what thine means, uh, to be able to understand what the books are saying so that, um, or what the Puritans are saying, so that I have e the ability to understand it, so I can glean wisdom, so I can be fed spiritually, because I can understand it. Um, so if you're going to go deeper in your relationship with Jesus, and you're going to read these older guys, these Puritan guys, um, you're going to need to be able to understand uh, Old English. It's great that we have people going to seminary, learning Greek, learning Hebrew. That's awesome. All right, let me throw in Shakespearean English there, um, Old English there, so that you can actually understand um, now what you're reading when you read you know, Pilgrim's Progress. You shouldn't have to, um, you know, as someone who is trying to you know, understand and trying to push themselves and become educated, you shouldn't have to buy a copy of Pilgrim's Progress that is a modern-day translation. Um, you, know, you should try to get to the point in which you can read it in its original to, to grow, uh, to understand, to learn, uh, and to glean everything out of it that you can that the original author wanted you to be able to glean out of it. So that's my spiel, learn to speaketh Old English. It doth will help you out a lot.
Talk to you later. Fed up!